Okay, here we go. This is Garrett. Is the worldwide church of Jesus supposed to be following the law? The law of Moses? Are any of us supposed to be following the law? I want to share with you that God's law that he gave to Moses to be taught to his Jewish nation was for the Jewish people only. And Christians have such a difficult time over this. God's law was for his Jewish nation, which Moses happened to be leading at that time. It was not for the Egyptians, nor the Romans, nor the Greeks, nor anybody living in Africa, nor the Assyrians, or Babylonians, or the Persians, or anybody else. God only demanded that the Jewish nation follow his law. So why are we trying to follow the law in the Old Testament? Step number two. Did you know that when Jesus died on the cross, he fulfilled the entire law of God according to who? According to God the Father. God's demands for the Jewish nation, his rules and regulations were so strict that if you were to break any of the many, many laws, most of them, you, would, you could actually be murdered. For example, if you children were talking back to your parents and disrespecting them, according to the law, you could be killed. That is a tiny example how strict the law of God was given to the Jewish nation. So, God who created the law said that when his son Jesus died on the cross, this is Romans 10.4, that his son Jesus fulfilled the law. He ended the law of Moses. So number one, we should not be following any of the law given to the, given to the Israel nation through Moses because it's for the Jewish people only, not for Mexico, not for Canada, not for Japan, not for Australia, not for Spain, not for the Philippines, not for where I live, the United States. It was for the Jewish nation only, and this causes so much confusion. Part two, Jesus ended the entire law when he died on the cross. We are set free from the law. If your church is trying to follow the law of Moses, pray. Ask the Lord what he wants you to do. If your family members are trying to follow some of the law, let's pray and ask the Lord Jesus, what does he want us to do? Once again, the law was for the Jewish nation only. Now, someone might say, well, in Luke chapter 4, Jesus is celebrating the Sabbath. You see, Jesus was still alive there. He's still alive in Luke chapter 11. He's still alive in Matthew chapter 5. He's still alive in, in John chapter 6, per se. Jesus is still alive they are practicing the law, of course. So Jesus practiced the law, and he's the only person in existence to ever do it perfectly. It's when he dies on the cross. 
That is when the law is completed. That is when the law of Moses is finished, and that is when the law of God has ended. His death on the cross. One of the famous Christian arguments and debates are, they try to bring up with me scriptures while Jesus is still alive, and they're celebrating the Sabbath going into the temple. I've been hearing this off and on, off and on for almost 15 years. Child of God, the law is fulfilled when he dies on the cross, not before he dies. Before he dies, they're practicing the law. It's when he dies on the cross, the Jews were set free from the law. The law is not for the continent of Africa. It's not for the continent of Asia. It's not for North America, and it's not for South America, and it's not for the islands either. It was only for the Jewish nation and nobody else. (music) 